This movie sets in the late 19th century where a mysterious, possibly supernatural monster threatens a small village. John McBride, a pathologist, comes to town to investigate the danger and exercise some of his own demons in the process. First of all, this movie starts off quite well and shows much promise. It introduces exciting new lore and gruesome gore as it seems to set itself up as ambitious and intelligent. Unfortunately, the movie succumbs to the most tiresome tropes and lazy shortcuts of the genre slasher efforts. It's undone by bland characters, sluggish pacing, and cliches. The movie's muddled storytelling prevents the narrative from ever really delivering on the premise. The movie's long setup and slow unraveling really test the patience of the audience. At two hours, the premise is strained far beyond its limits and the audience often finds itself waiting just as impatiently as the characters for something to happen. The movie is full of bland stock characters that don't offer any rooting interest. The introduction of pathologist John McBride gives the film something to drive the action. Unfortunately, he's hardly much of a hero to root for. None of the characters are memorable enough to sustain a slow burn atmospheric thriller and the slow burn nature of the scenario might well strain even the most patient horror fans. The movie doesn't have the discipline and the patience to ape the movie's slow build to terror or its sense of restraint. It seems constantly looking for a quick scare fix to tide the fever over, like using the screeching scare followed by the wake up from a nightmare. For all its atmosphere, it leans a little too hard on the jump scare as a method for horror. The movie is going for the wall-to-wall -wall brooding atmosphere and there's absolutely no humor here. Unfortunately, it becomes dull as the movie lacks of self-awareness for what's an inherently silly script. There's also a poorly calculated framing device that ends up letting us know who's probably going to be alive at the end. This opening framework robs the third act of much needed stakes. Overall, while the werewolf mythology does make some exciting changes, the movie still plays out in a reasonably familiar fashion. The runtime is far too long for a film with no one to care about, an absence of anything resembling character development. The horror scenes lose their scare value early on, leaving the audience with little but a sense of diminishing returns. We do not recommend this movie at all.